Welcome back. We are here on eToro and we are looking at the commodities market. And first we're going to look at oil. Then we're going to look at gas and, uh, and copper, gold and then cocoa. So still oil, there's nothing happening. We're still, still trading sideways and um, we are getting closer to this crossing of the 200 moving average and the uh, 50 moving average. And when that happens, we are going to see this market to go higher. Even though the world economy is doing really badly, um, this market looks like it will go higher. And if that is the case, then we will go to um, uh, 49 or $50. So, uh, well, I could give many reasons why this market shouldn't be up here. Uh, we are not even close to uh, the same production level as we were prior to the coronavirus. Demand for oil is not at the same uh, level as it was uh, prior to coronavirus, and therefore we probably shouldn't be here. Um, this is also this yeah, probably one of the reasons why uh, the world economy won't get back to the same level is because demand is very low and. And when we have a downturn in the in the, in the, in the world economy, usually what happens is that energy prices stay low for a very long time. That has not happened. Uh, we stayed low for a few days, and then we went up to uh, to uh, to um, almost the same level as prior to the coronavirus. So this will just be a uh, a massive headache for producers uh, because. It is expensive to produce. It's just as expensive to produce now as it was prior to the coronavirus. Almost as expensive. Uh, meaning that demand is low for their products and production costs are still really high. Uh, but if we look at the technical things here, uh, we can see that the RSI is at 59. It is not overbought, not oversold, and it is an upward trajectory. Um, the stochastic is a downward trajectory, and um, the MACD is also in a downward trajectory. So these two indicators indicate that we are going lower, and the uh, RSI technically shows that we're go probably going higher. So, yeah, these indicators are not very helpful at the moment. Um, I am still not a buyer, I'm not a seller in this market, because I'm waiting for, um, for this price to get close to the 15 moving average in order to to um, to sell and to get close to the 50 moving average in order to buy. Subsequently, we also have the Fibonacci retracement. Uh, sorry, we can see that it is just at the 42.77 level. So when we get to that, when we get close to that, we got close to that on Tuesday, very close, and we saw that we basically. Uh, bounced from this uh, uh, Fibonacci retracement level uh, on Tuesday session. So we know that this is a, a resistant area, and and um, and we also know that this 50 moving average is a support area. So at the moment, not a lot of things are happening in oil. The best thing is probably just stay out of this market for now, because it's a massive gamble in order to uh, to just guess whether or not this market is going upward or downward. We are in the middle at the moment, and at in those cases, just stay away from this market. Next, we have gas markets. And the gas market, we can see that we have broken through the uh, 50 moving average, and the uh, gas is much more promising than the oil market. So... 200 moving average is a major uh, resistant and uh, we can see that the lows here are major support which is one one dollar fifty that is major support so at the moment we are trading between the 200 moving average and this uh, this uh, support level here of 1.50 uh, the best thing at the moment would to just wait until we get to the 200 moving average because this is major resistant and will bounce from here. So this is a good 
uh, selling opportunity just to wait in order to to get to this uh, 200 moving average. Um, if you are want to gamble, then uh, I would put some, put my bet that we are going upwards. And uh, the reason why I say that is because all the all three indicators indicate that we are going to go upwards. The RSI is an upward trajectory. We see that the casting has broken through and we're going upwards. And also the uh, MACD uh, has broken through and is an upward trajectory. And that makes sense because it looks like we are going to retest the 200 moving average before going down again. This is a market that is is uh, is in a downtrend and it has been in a downtrend for a long time now. Uh, some of the main reasons is that you have there are too many producers of natural gas, uh, and that is basically uh, making an oversupply in the in the market, and that is pressuring the prices down. Also, we didn't have the same kind of width as we did in, in 2019 when we saw this massive spike here. Uh, the, the winter has been relatively warm uh, in the Western Hemisphere all around, and um, that also uh causes demand for um, gas to be much lower. Um, when we come to October, uh, we can see here, every time we get to October, we get this increase in demand because the weather is getting colder. But at the moment, I'm just going to wait until we get to this 200 moving average, and then that basically uh, is a very good selling opportunity. Uh, next is gold. So gold has, for uh, the last five days, been on a really, really, really bullish run. So at some point, we ran into resistance at around uh, at 1900 level. And that is also expected because we are overbought, significantly overbought at this moment. RSI is at uh, 82, which is, uh, is really overbought. And the casting gives a signal that we're going downwards. And the, probably the, what we're waiting for is this MACD line to basically make a curve in order to indicate that we are going to go down. So that will most likely happen either on, not on Monday, probably on Tuesday session, that we'll get a red candle here and we'll get an indication from the MACD that we are going to go lower. So this is not a market that is going to collapse anytime soon. This is not Bitcoin. The reason why we have this massive spike in the in oil prices is because um, federal the reserve, national, sorry, uh, central banks all over the world are basically destroying their currencies. There's a lot of uncertainty in the markets at the moment, and every time there's uncertainty about the about the world economy, all the gold basically increases. Uh, this is the uh, commodity people turn to, investors turn to, when there is uncertainty in the market. Uh, however, at the moment, we are fairly overbought, and we have to basically get lower from here. Uh, the lows is, uh, the real lows is at seven, uh, seven, uh, 70.50, or the 50 moving average. I guess that um, that eighteen hundred is also significant support. Uh, we can see this uh, this entire area here, which was uh, will make significant support. So this is a good op good opportunity just to wait until we get back to the to eighteen hundred level, or even better, the fifty moving average, and then buy and then hold this in order uh, when we, until we get to uh, two thousand, because this market is going to go much 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 higher because as long as um, coronavirus is, is still a problem for the world economy and we're still in this down uh, downturn in the world economy and central banks are basically pumping out the liquidity into the market then we will see uh, gold go higher uh, next is copper So copper has been on a significantly bullish run all the way back uh, from, from in March. So we saw a collapse in the in the in the price of copper, and since then 
copper just has exploded to the upside. And uh, if we look at the indicator first, we can basically see that we're not overbought at this point. We were significantly overbought uh, last week. We went all the way to 80 in the RSI. Now the RSI is in a downward trajectory. We have the stochastic in a downward trajectory, and we have the MACD in a downward trajectory. Is what, if I were to place my bet on uh, what will happen next week, is that we'll go lower from here. All three indicators indicate that. However, I like to buy on the dips, and uh, I'm just going to wait until this market goes lower, probably hits the 50 moving average, and then it will go go back and reach uh, test this um, 3,000 uh, or three dollar level here. So, yes, this market had to at some point uh, go lower, and uh, it ran into significant resistance at this uh, at this level. And we can also see that this was also a level in the past that had been significant resistant. So, at this point, we are going to retest. Um, probably 2,275 uh, uh, or the 50 moving average. It will basically get, in, get to that level at that point and then will bounce from there. Uh, I don't expect this market to collapse anytime time soon. Um, we definitely need a, another shutdown for this market uh, or shutdown in, the, in, the, in, the, in China in order to see this market go back to these levels again. So, last one is Cocoa. So, so um, we ran into support at um, at at um, at the two at around two thousand here, um, and since then we have been trading upwards. However, I don't expect this market to get anywhere. Um, anywhere above the 50 moving average. Uh, we see that we run into um, ran into resistance at this level and we didn't even get close to the 50 moving average. If we were to get close to the 50 moving average, this is a, a good opportunity to basically sell. As long as the market is still, uh, the world economy is still this bad, as long as people cannot go out to cafes and and uh, and so on. Um, don't expect this market to to explode to the upside. This is uh, far far away. It will probably take years before we ever see these prices again. We will most likely go to um, one point something before we ever uh, get a significant increase in this price. And we're talking about years. Uh, two, three, maybe five years before we ever get back to these levels again. Um, first, we have to fix the coronavirus. We have to get the world economy back going again. We have to get people go back out um, to cafes and all those things before we see a massive spike in this. Until then, just expect more of this. So we'll go and retest the 15 moving average go down, retest the 15 moving average, and then go down. Just buy on the on these highs, or sell on these highs um, for the foreseeable future. So I hope you find this uh, uh, videos uh, helpful. Um, you're welcome to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button and the share button. And um, good luck. Thank you very much.